Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will use additional JQL operators and keywords to write more powerful queries. So let's get started. Go to issues, click on search for issues and switch to advanced search. All right, so the first operator that we want to look is in. So in is nothing, but it is an operator that compares field with value in the list. Okay, so for example, you want to find all the issues for which assignee is John or Mary, then you can write assignee in John and then comma Mary. Okay, and you see a little tick here, the green tick, that means the syntax of your query is correct and it will return the correct results. Okay, now the second operator that we want to cover is not in so not in is just opposite of in so for example you want to find issues for which assignee is not john or mary then you just change in as not in and it will list all the issues for which assignee is neither john or mary now third operator I want to cover is was was is used to find issues that had previous state or previous, you know, like uh, some previous value. So for example, previous assignee or previous status. So, and was can be used only with fields which are changeable, right? So if I want to find assignee was John, okay, I'll select John and then hit enter and list all the issues for which assignee was John. Now, along with was, you can use on, after, and before. So for example, you want to find issues for which assignee was John on a particular date, then you can use on, and then provide a date. So for example, I want to see what issues were assigned to John on 15, of April okay and I hit enter and you'll see it lists out the five issues that were assigned to John on 15th of April similarly you can use after and before to find issues that were assigned to John after a particular date or before a particular date okay so that is all about searching with keywords and operators in further sessions we will look at more JQL queries with functions, dates, and texts. Thank you.